Hello again, my little adenoids. I'm Mr. Church. And today we're going to be building somewhere random. I was walking around and I saw this structure. It looks like some kind of surveillance uh, post. And I noticed that this side of it, there's no wall on. And that gave me an idea. By the way, if you're wondering, we're right next to this, which is here on the map near Fault 76 and the North Kata Hata 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 Lookout. And, um... Sometimes the Settler Wanderer spawns up on here, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's other people, like the old man that farts all over the place, and Rex absolutely destroys his overalls. And, of course, the washing machine does not actually clean your clothes. Now, what you're going to want to do is get your foundation up here, lift it into the air until it won't go anymore. And that actually is a good measurement for, like, how high to raise it. Kind of because this will be exactly one half a floor. So line it up side to side, front and back, and then test it by placing a half a wall. I don't know why I said half a floor, but it's probably Everything because I'm an absolute inside. fool. But if you look, now you see this is very, it's flush with that. So get rid of it again, because what good is doing something if you can't redo it 17 times, is what my father always said, right before he went into a fit of rage and started ripping stuff off the car with his bare hands, much like a behemoth. Now, go downward with the ramp, because that will give us a full one wall in height, that this foundation is below the ramp tower thing, which, of course, now let's fall off the edge here and get shot at, which is not a problem. You can obliterate the enemies around here by simply picking up a weapon and putting the bullets into it, and then what you're going to want to do is fire the weapon, which will kill the enemies. This is a fix for if you ever find yourself getting spawns of enemies at your camp. Now, uh, let's finish putting the floor down here. Let's expand it out on the other side as well. Um, so I believe that's five. Whatever. We'll figure it out. We can count later. I don't know how to count because I was homeschooled. But I do think that it's something like five maybe even 45 or 17. Now, put these walls down. It doesn't matter which walls you use because you can use the replace option later. Besides that, we're gonna be redoing everything we uh, do 17 times because I keep thinking of like something to add later, which of course means you have to rebuild the whole structure. Now, if you're watching this, uh, make sure you watch the whole video before you uh, attempt to build this because I actually there's something later on that I end up doing that you're going to want to do before you put these stair gantries in. Um, but I'll show you when we get to it. Now, I'm making an overhang here. And I'm going to make a blueprint of posts. So make two posts stacked, like so. And then jam a, the corner of a mat here into it. This is a brand new method, by the way, if you've never seen it before. Now just blueprint that. And uh, just call it, you know, pole or pole or pokey now you're gonna be able to place down these posts wherever the hell you want now just go into your blueprints which doesn't take that long just scroll endlessly uh, with drool coming out the side of your face and you can just place these down now because the carpet is holding them up that you know it makes sense it don't question it just do it it's fine and posts are great because you can delete the one below it um, without it needing support, which means you can do a, a lot with them. So what we're going to do, I want to put the, the corner posts in the corners. Because otherwise, if you do the glitchy thing where you have it on the corner, it'll stick out a bit. And I want it to not stick out. I want it to be like just inside the post, like uh, the corner, like this. So get rid of the top thing. I'm going to change that temporarily so I can see. And then... Yeah, just put the floor back. Um, and that will do it for the front of this area. I put a ramp thing here so we can get into the garage. And then, of course, something else attacked me. And then I killed it. Um, I had to keep jumping servers because the servers weren't responding. And, uh, you know, Bethesda can blame duping all they want. But when I'm alone in a private server and that's happening and I'm just trying to build, 
I think that maybe there's something else we could look at. Maybe it's incompetence. I don't know. It could be something deep within the heart of the, you know, game files, such as, I don't know, some kind of, maybe you got a virus. Maybe you should ask Quincy when he's using um, the game files to please not download pornography onto the computers at work. That could also do a trick. Now, this is what I mean. If you want to delete these stairs, you have to place a staircase out front or somewhere to give it temporary support because those upper floors would be held up by nothing because you need, unfortunately, to put the walls in before you can put that stair in. And I just double walled these back here. Um, and if I need to destroy the walls later on, then we just worry about that later. We can get, get rid of them, but just double wall it for now. That's fine. And now we have the beginnings of a structure coming along. Good. Um, also, I put this foundation here really close up. Let me turn the light on so I don't get bitch slapped in the comments section for building in the dark. Uh, let's just build it up close to this, which will allow you to snap a concrete block under the stairs. I wasn't able to get a wall in here. Um, and I did try for about 17 minutes. Um, we're gonna come back to that later, but that'll allow us to place stuff in there without it, like, floating, basically, on the hilly ground. It'll give it something to kind of sink down to. And it'll also, sometimes this guy looks into your house with binoculars, and that's a little uncomfortable. Uh, maybe even illegal. I'm not too sure. I haven't read the penal code of Appalachia because I've been a little busy. Uh, in my spare time, I have been uh, trying to connect to servers and also getting uh, disconnected immediately from those servers uh, just as quickly. So it's been, you know, a lot to on my plate. I've been quite busy doing that. That's a full-time job right there, just loading into the game. Uh, so I can't be bothered reading a bunch of you know, obscure codes about what's illegal and whose windows you can look through with binoculars, but I'm pretty sure if I were to go out on a limb, that's probably not okay. So that's making me feel a little sweaty and uncomfortable. Now, when you're decorating this uh, upper floor up here, you probably are going to want to get rid of the roof while you do it so that you can not have your stuff pop up through the roof and land on the ceiling. Um, but I just put it on for now because I want to get the basic overall shape of the building down before I start decorating it. Um, also, let's make a little balcony out here. And we're going to use our blueprinted posts that we've, you know, once I scroll through the walls for no reason. And then the doors as well. Now, now I'm in blueprints. There you go. There you go, Billy. And just center it on the edge there on the corner. By the way, my name isn't Billy, but it was a nice try. And... I like to support, uh, you know, local uh, shops. Uh, I don't know what that had to do with anything, but it is true. So let's uh, get rid of the top of the posts now, and we'll able be able as well, if we, you know, don't mind speaking English for once, uh, to put this... I can't jump. Let's just go up the stairs. And, it's, yeah. And now um, we can snap stairs to the bottom of these if there's not stupid rocks underground that intersect, which... Graciously, there were not. So that's a, uh, you know, let's let's make the, this side. <laughs> also, this is the part I was talking about earlier. If you want to, like, mix up the textures of the walls, especially along the back where you have this big, continuous, flat surface, you're going to want to do this before you actually do the upper floors. It's way easier this way, but rather than having to delete everything like I had to do here. So do this before you do the upper floors. What I did was I put a defensive wall in, destroyed it, and that, that allows me to merge uh, walls in with these defensive walls. And it adds a really nice texture to the outside. Over here, what I'm going to do is have this stick out just a little bit. So those wooden, those two pieces of wood are going to be showing um, on the outside of the build which will kind of make it look like we boarded it up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure why nothing's happening. Did did it freeze? No. Okay, probably just this whole thing froze for a second. I, I, honestly, it's probably just the dupers. And, you know, now that everyone's banned and they stopped doing it, 
you know, and it's probably just the wind. The, it's really windy today. And so, yeah. Uh, over here, what we're going to do is for the 80th time, put these walls back in. Um, again, if you do this all first, you don't have to worry about um, all that. But as you can see, it adds this really nice texture out here of those wooden panels there on the wood. Uh, it, it breaks it up too. It keeps it from having this continuous texture. Now in here is going to be the garage. So I thought it'd be kind of cool if we had these uh, pile of tires in the garage. So we're going to stick it out of the garage a little bit on this side. Just so we can have that, that pile of tires. And a little bit of this will show through. But not enough that the um, HOA will come by and yell at us too bad. But it, you know... We have been priming them with a lot of casseroles, so that will help them to not be so angry and hateful. Of course, you know, I, I wouldn't assume that the casseroles alone will be okay, so we need to be very careful. Don't use any barn walls, for God's sakes. Um, have some human decency for, for the sake of all fuck. Um, and then I'm just going to get this ready for when I do the kitchen later. Um, I'm just using the classic sinking thing where you can stand on this. Uh, you can use sinky dirt, but this location I couldn't find very many sinky dirt. So this just works in a treat. Now we have a pot sitting on the stove for later that is usable as well. Um, apparently, I don't know. I didn't try, but I, it should be. It usually works. Um, back here you can see we've got that. Oh, now, so right here I've put this. I've lined it up so that there's exactly one foundation. Because this will allow us to snap a foundation really close to that corner. You can't just place one down here because there's too much stuff intersecting. Uh, there he is again. He, I just saw him put his binoculars away. And now he's going to act like nothing happened. Yeah, just casually walk away. And now he's looking through the front window. You will get creeps like this out here. It's fine. You know, he's acting all nonchalant. But in a few That's minutes, he's just going to pull his binoculars out and look at us again. So, when we put the doors in, let's pick one that he can look through oh, for, so you know, immersion. Oh. Now, when you see that, you're going to really work. feel comfortable. Hello? Sir? He tripped. I don't know what happened. I think he tripped on the floor. The floor trip. Little bit of floor sticking up. Yeah. Now, we're down in the garage, and we're just going to hook up a switch to the outside. So we can just flip the switch out there and open up the door. And this works like the rug glitch. You put it on a sign, you move the sign once, and this will allow you to bring, jump, jump, <coughs> will allow you to bring it out here and just hook it up like so. And then we just put that back. Now, over here, I wanted to have a mute fruit growing out of a dumpster. Um, and that took like 75 years to figure out because I had to keep moving stuff around so that it would fit. Um, but eventually, you know, it said it intersected even when it was green. You know, that, that always feels good, I think. Um, but eventually what I ended up doing was I burned both of them. Um... And then I found a position where they would fit. And again, it helps to have that other one there to snap through. Oh, and you can snap the farmable tiles over top of each other, which is why I have those down. Um, this is the finished product, by the way. I guess we're already to the end. Wow, we've made it together. Um, and uh, wow, let's see what we've done. So up the stairs here is the front deck, of course. There are no mangled corpses anymore. I've buried them in the backyard. Um, actually, this green shit, if you see that after you've been burning and merging stuff, just reactivate your other camp uh, and then reactivate this one. That should fix that. It's just a visual glitch. Um, but yeah, for this, I just I built that one and then I burned it and then I put the other one in front of it. It's pretty pretty simple. But uh, this is the rest of the interior here. Okay, let's shut the door. We're getting a draft. Um, and uh, yeah, so over here I have this flue that I built using the same the same poles that we had before. Just just take that one out, put that in, that, then take this, that one, and then put it there. 
Like, so, you know, obviously. And then over here we have a bird in a cage. I figure, you know, um, I have this bird. And where else should I put it? Like, wh what, what would make a bird happy? Being in a cage, obviously. Because they're going to want to not be able to fly. Because they hate it. Over here is a beautiful view. Too bad I don't have time to sit and admire it. Uh, over there, there, there's some sketchy stuff going on over there. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, but uh, up here, again, glorious view. Especially when you take fall damage. Um, which is something I should probably work around, uh, fix. I, I'm having a hard time dying a lot. Falling off my balcony. But you have a really nice view washing the dishes. Thought that'd be good. Up here, I have put a bunch of bedding. Uh, because I figure if my friends come over because I'm too scared to sleep up here alone because there's some weird shit happening next door and there's a guy looking through my window, um, they can all hang out, spend the night, and I don't have to be by myself. And then uh, downstairs, you see here we have the door that leads to the garage. And of over here is the generator. I have that little light to show when the generator is on or off. And someone was, like, down here working on it, I guess. Maybe they had to sit by it, make sure it didn't go out. It's not a good job, but it also doesn't pay well. And then out here, um... I have the garage. Let's show uh, what I've done in here. So, activate. Yes. These power armor displays are really nice. It's so nice having a power armor sitting around. It's very Fallout 4-y, which is a word, and it makes me feel nostalgic as all fuck. And I put low stash boxes on this side so that when you open that door, you can see that stack of tires. Wouldn't want that to go amiss. Um, and I could have put this there, but it would have been blocking the view. Over here, we have all of our you know, shelving, and then all our crafting benches, a chair, so when we're sitting there doing, you know, the little, you know, tedious stuff, we can sit down, not break our backs, and there's the door to get out of there. We can close that door and then go up here, and you'll get stuck because there's a bug right now with these gantries where if you're walking up them stacked that way, you get stuck, but you can just jump. Uh, didn't used to do this, so I'm assuming it's just a bug that they're never going to fix. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Uh, but yeah, you can see in through there. All the visual glitches aside, I think it turned out pretty good. Oh yeah, and here I I couldn't fit the chems bench in there. And I figured it's better to do our chemistry away from everything else so we don't contaminate everything if something goes wrong. So we have this little cube under the stairs where we can work on that. And it's all made possible by that foundation piece being in there. Otherwise, the stuff wants to pop up through and land up on the deck. But, yeah, I think that it turned out very well. Um, I saw those stairs and I said, yes, I want that as my front deck. And so then I just built off from there. And, and it's a little tricky. Oh, yeah, I also changed the texture up there up a little bit try to break it up because that's a huge flat wall there and um apart from you know making the the different uh tiers of it the best way is to just break up the texture to give it somewhat of a different i'm just rambling now at this point i apologize but uh i want to say a big thank you what the hell yeah that no not that no 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 I want to say thank you to my subscribers. By the way, if you have not already subscribed, I would really appreciate that. Um, and uh, you can also like this video if you liked it. Oh, you can also dislike it if you hated it. That makes sense. I would do the same thing. Um, but uh, I appreciate you guys. And I big shout out to my patrons. Um, you guys are amazing. And um, But one day you will see what you, the, the light. But also... I want to give a quick something. There's something happening in those cabins over there. And um, I came over to investigate, right? And it used to say Sickle Man was here under this. And now it says Sickle Man is here. I know, I know. It's been that way since Wastelanders update. But that's something to investigate. So maybe I'll see you in the next video.